Good morning. I am back doing a daily read. I have been off the dailies for a few days now. I had a migraine, but that's all solid. I thought I'd better not do it too early because sometimes I am not all with it on a migraine. So we have our dailies today and I'm going to do my lovely peeps. Sorry, I'm taking my significator cards out just to show you. And I'm going to do my peeps on the playing cards course this week. We have been looking at the significance of the playing cards in the Lenormand deck. And we have been learning how to color our reads with those. Add an additional layer, if you like, to our Lenormand reads. So here, peeps, I am doing Kipper reads. Just dailies, and we are starting with Joseph, who is in the class with me. Joseph. Here we go. Three cards for your daily. Nice cards. We have you. Then we have our rich girl, high honors, and unexpected money. The, uh, they're all really super positive cards. Our, um, sorry, I have to go back to front with this camera. Our rich girl is, uh, if we're, morning Tasha, I'll do yours as well. We, if we are talking about rich girl as a core meaning and not an actual person, then we are saying that our uh, rich girl means happiness, super carefree, um, dance around the house, if you like. So we could see you doing this today. However, it could also be a person in your life. So your per your your day today could revolve around a uh, female, a younger female, perhaps. There are uh, high honors and recognition that go in with that. You could be recognizing her. She could be somebody who's getting uh, working her way up on the career ladder. She could just be somebody who does a super great job today and brings in some um, improvements in your life. Let us know what they mean. You can tell me better than I can because you are the ones uh, applying the cards. We're doing these cards as um, application. I'm giving the, ooh, giving the core meanings and what they could mean and the trick is to apply them. So my reads aren't just um, a simple psychic read. I'm actually making you do the work too. So Tasha, hi Irene, I can do you too. Oh my goodness, my list is getting longer. Uh, Tasha, your day today please. Tasha's day today please. Nice cards. We have Tasha. We have uh, a long way. A long way is our time and distance card. Um, it literally means a long way. We have his thoughts, which are, um, it's traditionally romantic thoughts, but it can actually mean plans. So it could be uh, that Tasha is focusing on long-term plans today. And um, this is our lovely offer card. So if you are going to get an offer, it will be today. It can also be compliments or um, just something positive coming into your life today. So again, try and apply these to your day. It could be that the whole day, because we're on dailies and we're on a long-term card, so the whole day planning or spent in your head with a uh, positive outcome. You could have an aha moment today where you finally realize which direction you should go in. So next, good morning, Inga. The um, next one I will do is Irene, as you are on your day today, Irene. Irene's day today, please. We have a journey, we have theft, and we have cause official. So journey, theft, cause official. The main thing on um, Irene's agenda today is journey. 
journey doesn't actually have to be a, um, a physical journey, it can be, but it can also be experiences. So um, things, happenings, if you like, are something that you would say is an experience rather than uh, just an event. So something learning something with it too. The theft, our theft card is stealing from our court official. So our court official is our, um, he can be conflict, he can be a uh, conflict in argument type situation, but it can also be a process. So it could be a process that's been worked on um, and our theft is stealing from that process and giving it to our journey. I know that's a, it's a long uh, way around saying it, but um, our theft is taking from the process and it's giving to the journey. So Irene today will have something that is stemming from this process that is taken and given. It's like a life lesson. There is a lesson to be learned today. Um, something, it can be a negative card, a, ne a negative uh, argument perhaps and she takes it out as a well there I learned a lesson um, if with Kipper being the directional cards they are because we have court official at the end he's a connector so we can actually connect a second card to find out what this process is a change oh it's coming with the movements isn't it <laughs> So, uh, Irene, you have a planned change that we see. Or changes are made to plans that um, you accept, but then um, you think, you feel it's a negative uh, change to these plans. Perhaps it could even say something's cancelled today. And you chalk it up to experience because our theft is taken from that and is given to our experience card of a journey. So now um, I will, Inga, are you still on? I will do your cards if you're still on. If not, I will move on to um, somebody else in my class today, which is, um, Give me a second. Okay. English or German? I better do it English because not every I can do a, a mix. Okay. So, uh, Inga's day today, please. Inga's day today, please. Inga, we have an end for you today. So, the main aspect of your day is going to be an end. It can be getting something done, getting something finished, over and done with, if you like. And once that end comes, it creates a change. So we have a change moving from fatality to gloomy. So the process of moving from this end and trying to change things, uh, end and change are big cards in your day. So it will be something that is, um, it will, it will, be a, an end that you need to make today. Um, the change then takes you to uh, gloomy thoughts. Uh, and that's a bit of a, oh, what am I gonna do today? So they're not the most positive cards, um, but it is a, um, an end that is needed for you. It's something, it may just be something that you need to get finished so you can move on. So, ich habe dann ähm, es ist schwierig dann auf Deutsch <lacht> zu wechseln. Ich habe jetzt Todesfall, Veränderung und ähm, Gloomy, trübe Gedanken. Was wir sagen können ist, dass es äh, eine Ende, das kommt heute, Ende kommt. Du kannst nicht dagegen tun. Du, das kann auch sein, dass es ist was in dem Haus, das du fertig machen musst. Einfach end. Ende. Ähm, was kommt zunächst, ist dann eine Veränderung. Das kann auch sein, dass äh, 
Jedes Mal. Uh, so, uh, Inge, you go every time. So, and... Um, wo arbeitest du eigentlich? Arbeitest du irgendwo, dass ähm, viele Hände sind? Weil das kann auch sein, dass ähm, das hängt mit dir zusammen. Wenn du das jeden Tag kriegst, kann es sein, dass ähm, das ist, was in deinem Tag das ganz normal ist. Das ist... Ähm, Okay. So what I'm saying to uh, Inga is, as we have um, ending and she has it coming every day, that it could be something to do with her work. And she works as a um, hairdresser at home. So it could actually be, if she's getting this every single day, this could signify what she is physically doing. She is ending and transforming. So you could actually have a customer today who's not too happy with that end or cut of hair and the change that you've made in their appearance. Hast du das verstanden? Es kann sein, dass heute es gibt eine Kunde, der ähm, Probleme hat, der nicht so glücklich ist, wie es ausschaut danach. Ende konnte dann einfach um, der Friseur sein, dass man einfach was wegschneidet und Veränderung kann sein, dass der uh, Veränderung dann macht deine Kunde heute nicht so glücklich. So, reiterating on in English, um, that the end could be the snipping of hair away. The change is the physical change that she is making to somebody's appearance and gloom is, oh my God, I don't like it so much. And that means it's not such a bad thing. If Inga gets this every day, jeden Tag, wenn du das jeden Tag kriegst, das muss mit deiner Arbeit zusammenhängen. It has to do with um, her work or what she does on a daily basis, if she's getting this on a daily basis. Okay, so you're testing me switching between German. I'm either German or I'm English. I can't do the mix. <laughs> So, let's see now who I have. I was going to do Mary a daily, who's in my uh, playing cards group. Mary, your cards for today, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Mary has stress. She's running around like a headless chicken. And then she has dishonest person, which is even better. So we have some wrongness in the day too. And, but then at the end we have a, ta-da, surprise. So we have um, sorrow, which is our stress card. The day is gonna start off with a lot of running around, stress, too much to do, don't know what to do, or just generally the feeling of, I really don't want to do it. The uh, wrongness here, is directly in front of you. It's obviously a auspicious card, so we're not seeing anything that can't be sorted. Um, the, um, sorry, the dishonest person behind her back is sorrow. So the sorrow is the cause of the dishonesty or the wrongness. So, and then at the end we have our um, gift card, our receive a gift card, which ha is being affected by our wrongness. So <laughs> we can say today that, um, there's, that there's no point in this because it's causing this. So the running around like a headless chicken or perhaps having your head up your bottom is um, causing all the wrongness that comes today. Everything that you think, oh my God, I don't want to do that, or I can't be bothered to do that. You are causing it. And with your headless chicken action. So <laughs> if we then, it's also having an effect on how positive you are throughout the day. So maybe we should take our head out of our bottoms, stop causing the wrongness, and focus on the positive gifts that we have. Madame, that told you, didn't it? Okay, <laughs> next one, Annette. 
Is this for you? And next day today, please. And next we have expectation, we have house, and we have court official. Interesting, as we know. So Annette has actually received a uh, jury request to join the jury or however that um, is called over in your neck of the woods. And next to you, we have you thinking about this a lot. Um, expectation of Artung, looking at things but not, not taking any real action. So this could just be you processing the information um about um it at home about the court process ah there you go military person so you may actually have to have a discussion today that you don't want to have with somebody from the whatever you call them court people dudes who have sent you this requirement you may actually need to discuss it with them today. Alia, I am trying to whiz through these, or Margaret. Ooh, we have uh, older gent, good gent. We have great fortune, and we have state of marriage. So I couldn't pull nicer cards if I'd have tried. Straight in front of you is the older gent. Can, as you know, be literally an older gent, can be some support that you are getting, but this is the card everybody wants. This is the good fortune card that everybody wants in their day, week, month, everything. It is the card that shines over everything and makes it super shiny. Great day today is the key when we get this. And uh, state of marriage is obviously a connect card, so we'll connect to improvements. Cool. So, uh, Margaret, I uh, task you with telling me what a super shiny day you've had today. You know what your cards mean to. Let me know how it goes. Who's on my Nancy? Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. You're ahead of me. Are you still daytime? Must be. You have some uh, process that you are working on. This is actually a good card if you are working on your book or anything. This is a good editing card. This is a good card to um, explain the process that you work through formatting a book, for example, or working with a publishing house, if you do get a building card here. It's also a good card for that. The um, work card then, it obviously shows you physically working on a process today. And I saved the best till last, because we got this again. Got two wins today. So uh, Nancy, good fortune at the end of it all. So it is worth putting the effort in today because it's going to have a super good outcome. I, uh, I don't know if I said your name correctly. I hope I did. Aya, on my playing cards today. Or use any other names because obviously um, some of my students have more names than one. <laughs> So I just day today, please. Oh, court official again. Likes to come out. We have court official again. This is showing again a process. As I said to Nancy, if it, Nancy was applying this to her day, uh, Nancy is an author. Um, she could be working with a uh, publishing house. Uh, I apply this to your day too. You um, are working through a process, which is this card with, oops, Sorry, backwards camera. Um, a company, perhaps. It could be also at home, just um, getting your tasks done for the day or starting a process at home um, with that one. And then we have plans, a lovely planning card. So we see action at the beginning of the day that then turns into uh, a planning stage, a more uh, intellectual-based stage of your day. 
So um, do stuff is what this card is saying to do with either your house or a company. Try and apply these, see if you can work it out and then share it with all of us. Um, and the uh, his thoughts at the end is traditionally our romantic card or romantic thoughts. It tells us what the gent in our life or the woman in our life is uh, thinking of. But on this occasion, it is more likely to be plans and um, intellectual strategies, if you like. God, I've been talking forever. It feels like it. I am so sorry. For those of you who have stuck around right to the very end, I will tell you I am super excited. I am having my um, app developed with the Kipper card, so there will be an app coming out soon for uh, iOS. And uh, the book is being edited. Yay. 